Hey, good morning, YouTube. Sakboy Mahalo here. Today is November 19. Uh, current temperature is 57 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, and today's video is about the Megalanthus. So this is the first uh, flower that I pollinated. Now it's wilted right there. So by the way, this is the flower that uh, I pollinated using the frozen pollens, which is a combination of the red flesh and white flesh dragon fruit pollen and of course including the pollen from the flower itself so that's the first uh, flower that we pollinated the second one is right here which uh, we only use the pollen of the flower itself to pollinate it and by the way this one yeah, uh, when I did the pollination at the during the evening, I could hardly get pollen from it, and then I uh, visited it the next morning, and I was able to get more pollen from it. I guess, uh, like one of the viewers commented, it might be too early to get the pollens; they weren't developed yet. So I probably. Uh, open up the flowers too early and the pollens were not ready for uh, to be collected so that's the second flower and by the way this one here when I did that video on the first flower I said I was late because the flower wasn't open yet or uh, was closing already it turned out I think that uh, the flower was just opening at the daytime uh, I wasn't uh, I wasn't late because I uh, noticed this flower here uh, late in the morning uh, I, the flower still opened wider so now it's confirmed that uh, this Megalanthus doesn't uh, really uh, open at night it will probably open either night or morning because right now it's nine o'clock and this flower is just opening so this is the third flower so this flower here I'm not gonna touch it uh, I'm just gonna let it go from our experiments because we have three scenarios here the first one is we pollinated it with the uh, frozen pollens, combination of pollens from the flower itself and collected pollens from the white flesh and red flesh dragon fruit varieties. The second one is just pollinated by the pollens of the flower itself. And this one here, the third one, I'm just gonna let it... Uh, mature by itself I'm not gonna pollinate it okay I see a hummingbird there so uh, we'll see uh, which uh, which uh, fruit will develop or how will the fruits develop and if they do develop all right so that's part of our experiment so I'm pretty sure now it's confirmed that this megalanthus will uh, the flower will open up most probably during the daytime because that's the second flower that opened up the uh, during the daytime first one was this and that one when it opened at the nighttime the pollens weren't ready yet so they probably open in the morning also all right and since we're here let me give you an update on the dragon fruit that we uh, pollinated using the frozen pollens 
So this is the first one here. It's uh, getting big as compared to the one beside it, it's smaller. And this is the second one. All right. And the third one right here. On the floor or the ground. The fourth one. And the fifth one. Right by the fence. And yep, they haven't uh, ripened yet. And the sixth one, which we pollinated the day after. It's smaller compared to the other one. This one probably I pollinated it with a combination of frozen pollens and its own pollens. Oh, by the way, this fruit is pretty big right here this is uh, I believe uh, um, the Halley's Comet it's huge and another one here is American Beauty it's pretty big also So I still have fruits, uh, November 19, so again today is November 19, 9.22 in the morning and this flower is just opening up, this is the Megalanthus. Also, there's the other Megalanthus right here with the red uh, flower. The other one is the, the redness, or the only the tips are red. This one is the whole thing is red and prominent uh, thorns. Okay, that's an update for today. Thank you for watching. Have a good one. Bye-bye.